To be perfectly honest with you, when these vehicles arrived into the workshop, we were not looking forward to restoring them at all. The state of them was really demoralizing. But Daryl and Jesse, and occasionally Al and Jono, have been working some absolute miracles on them. This week, we follow Daryl and Jesse as they tried a few different methods in restoring some of the mud guards and stowage boxes. And we find that some of these work better than others. Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. This is the mud guard from a few weeks ago. As you can see, it's come a long way. But on the other side, it looks like Daz is going to have to get a little bit creative. We've, we've straightened up a little bit, just so we can space everything where it goes, work out what we've got. We have to make the best we can out of this one. It's going to be a bit of an effort. It's thicker than a normal car body skin, so you're trying to hammer it out, you really need a bit of force. It's not like you can use just normal panel beating tools. We've got two front right hand guards here. So what we're going to do, we're going to save that one. We're going to trim off this side and use this part, which will mainly get pressed flat apart from that, that curve there. And then we'll just weld them back together, try and fit them and weld them back together. This one's rusted here, so I've tried to save some of the, the other one. So I've, I've marked where I'm going to cut, and that gives me a bit of green, which means I can overlap and, we, and then cut them together so they fit perfect. Now I know. I know it looks a bit awkward and, and what I'm doing, but I believe this is the best way to do it. going to try and get this bit of a bend here. If I try and flatten it, it'll just crimp more. For your information, that's not Daryl's heart palpitations you can hear. It's just something on the bench wobbling a bit. Hopefully. Because that's a really tight bend, I think I might end up putting some heat in it. Just to help it you know, relieve some of the pressure on it.
we have to try and blend it back into the curve. Daryl bashes away at this mudguard, Jesse is working on one of the stowage boxes. It's all twisted and, and bowed across the middle here. You could see it was all pushed in. Yeah. I've had to put it in our press and press it square. So the angle's out a little bit, but I'll fit it in there and just move it along. So I'll tack it tack it in there and then pull it out, spread it, move along, spread it out, open it. After a few days, Daryl has wrestled the two pieces of the different mudguards into shape. There's still the rest of that circular top part to do, but he'll get onto that later. These vehicles have four lifting eyelets, but one of them has been torn off. Jesse's taking a break from his stowage box and is getting stuck into repairing this. Meanwhile, Daryl is taking on a different stowage box, just to mix things up a bit.
While we try and use as much original material as possible, sometimes it's just too far gone. Check twice, cut once. On the left side of this vehicle, the mudguards were still attached and we thought we could straighten them without having to take them off. So a few weeks ago, we rigged up this pulley to try and pull it all straight. Quickly on them, that's, it's not inside, it's got a big... The threaded rod you can see here is attached to a rectangular piece of plate on the inside of the box. By heating and pulling, we're hoping that the kink will pull out straight. Yeah, it's not quite pulling where we need it to, so the boys have to make a few adjustments to their setup. Do that. Tear the turret off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's even going to go in there. Going down just or like, yeah. We need to chop it a wheel. Oh my god. We're going to go down there and I'll start. And I'm there too, so I guess. There too. Yeah, the more that's going to come out. Now put it on here. Now pull that one. If you just put the eyelet on there. You are, you judge it from there. How far out is he going? Yeah. Come on, I'll give it a hit here. Nah, it's not. Is it going to
working. If you heated more in there, what do you reckon? You can't really get to it, can you? We can try to drill a hole on an angle that way, maybe. I don't know if you'll ever get that. Yeah. Well, the only other thing is, all right, if we take that box off, for this one here, why don't we just cut that corner off and straighten that corner and weld the corner back on where it is? Yeah. Because, it, and it, see that other one where your head is? Oh, that, that's fine. Yeah. That one doesn't even look that bad. Battle damage. Yeah, definitely. We'll just cut from here across, rip that off, and I'll straighten it and we'll re weld it back on. Yeah, like, it, like you go in about 150 mil there. Yeah cut across and yeah. down. I'll just do what I did on the other side. And then you just, then you can get in behind that yeah. and press that out. Because that's exactly what we did on the other side, is yeah. I cut the whole section out, flattened it, and then repressed oh. it. Yeah. Oh, Daryl, it's okay. <laughs> you filmed that. Bit of work done on it, but no. it, was where, it, was, it was worth a go. Well, look where we've got it. We've come so far already. <laughs> we couldn't, we didn't really damage it more. It yeah. was already damaged to start with, so. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling happy about it. Oh, well. Ah, nothing ventured, nothing gained. We get lucky most of the time with this sort of thing, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Jess has taken off this box and is now working on it on the bench. This one here, um, we've had to cut all of this out and we've had to cut this corner out because just when we've pulled it out, it's pulled everything out of proportion and it's stretched it. So what we've done is we've, we had another donor box that we've cut up into multiple pieces. This one's been cut, as you can see, but I'm, I'm using it and I'll just add a piece in because we don't have another one. Not bad. That's called winging it. <laughs> First go. That was very lucky. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Much better. Better off.
may not be pretty, but it's a hell of a lot better than what we started with. Daryl has just about finished the mudguard he was working on at the beginning of the episode. Jesse's hook is finished, and the other stowage box he was working on looks fantastic. We'll leave the boys to it for now and check back in a few weeks' time when they've finished their paddle beating. That's all we have time for today. Join us next Wednesday for your weekly tank restoration fix. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour, and I'll see you on the next one.